Welcome back everyone and this is your full body yoga workout today for weight loss, strength, stretching and relaxation all in one workout. So let's begin team on our kneeling position today and let's bring our both hands up front of the heart, close our eyes and set loving and nurturing intentions for this practice. Look inside the heart and let's make a commitment not to judge, not to compare, do our absolutely best in each and every asana and enjoy this practice. Take a deep breath in, slow quality exhalation through our nose and let's open up our eyes and reach guys all the way up. Inhalation again through the nose and exhalation through your nose as well. If it's comfortable, go ahead and take your one hand on the floor and we will begin this practice with a gentle lateral stretches today to wake up our body guys. Go ahead and take it to the other side and let's do just a couple of more stretches like this. Try to keep this arm all the way above the head and do it guys one more time for me. All the way, big reach. Let's go ahead and connect our hands all the way behind and reach guys behind, just behind your back, express with the chest, with the ribcage, take your hands on the floor if it's possible, continue to hold that connection in your palms, relax your head and relax your neck. And on exhalation, we come back and we simply fold forward for now. Just bring in your forehead on the floor and again it doesn't have to be all the way fully down just do what you can extend those arms and come on back guys down back to the center position and i'm ready to take you on your kneeling position wrist elbow shoulders knees guys underneath the hips nice and stable and leveled one we continue with the hop and cow flow so again, we're just waking up the body first, so we can get ready for the stronger flows, for strong balance, for the good quality stretches today. Reach all the way up one more time, and on exhalation, round the spine, relax your neck one more time, guys, reach. And let's go ahead and stop right here. We will continue our warm up with a gentle, hips on the side, gentle hips rocking, side to side if you can't, take and sit your one side on the floor completely, don't worry about it, just do what you can, it's a really good wake up, warm up movement for the hips and for the lower back, let's give it a couple more, we use this one a lot in our restorative practice, that's really, really, really healthy for your back. Let's do one more on each side. That's perfect. And we're gonna move to the next floor up here. So let's dive into our child pose with the knees slightly wider and extend those arms right from the top. Scoop the belly in and flow, guys. Cobra. Dog, upward facing dog or the sphinx if you have to put your elbows on the floor. Before we come in back, let's express through the heart and slowly on exhalation, flow back. Let's repeat this flow for the couple times extra. Then we're going to change it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And one more like this. Open up. Perfect. On the next one, we're going to start to flow right above the floor. Right above the floor and then reach up to the cobra or sphinx. All the way reach and back up through the top. Let's do it this way a couple more times as well. All the way reach, flow through. Great. Wake up and warm up for the shoulders for the elbows, for upper body in general, right above the floor, guys. Reach through and stay up here with me. This can be challenging for the beginners, so definitely, guys, put your elbows on the floor if you feel you block your airflow with your shoulders. Go ahead and reach behind the one shoulder. 
reach behind another, take a quick look, and do it one more time from each side. And again, guys, perfect. Go ahead and return back to your tabletop. Take your boss fit nice and open. Open up to your downward facing dog with the heels together, hands nice and firm on the floor. Take a deep breath in. On exhalation, shift the body weight away from the hands and elbows. Go ahead and split your feet. Take your knees back on the floor. Open up, bring no to slam your knees on the ground and come on back up. So the next flow is your downward facing dog today to your kneeling position, cat cow. Again, if you need to move, guys, slower, please move slower. If you want to move faster already, you can move faster as long as you're enjoying this practice and moving with awareness in the body. This practice is not only for strength and flexibility in weight loss, in calorie burning, but it's also making a solid connections with ourselves. Be aware, listen, observe, become stronger with our minds as well. That is our body. One more, guys. And extend. Reach all the way across, guys. Reach all the way across. Take a good quality reach. Relax your head and neck. Take a deep breath in. And then slowly switch the direction. Straighten the side lines all the way across. It doesn't have to be your wrinkle. It can be your shin. Make sure that your neck is limp and loose. No tension in the neck. And we continue to flow, guys. Continue to wake up our body. So walk with me towards your plank, guys. And from your plank, we're gonna go to the slow push-up. Beginners, put your knees on the floor, guys. Don't skip this one. Inhalation, exhalation, come on back up. We're gonna do a couple of more like this, knees on the floor if you have to. Inhalation, exhalation, low hold, come on back up. We're gonna do one more time, guys, nice and slow. I know you can. All the way down. Come on back up and shift your body weight back to your downward facing dog. Your next flow, your downward facing dog to your up dog or cobra. If you are a beginner, we guys come back to the tabletop again one more time without floating all the way through. All right, let's begin this flow. Nice, slow, and with awareness, of course. If you feel that you're not able to move, Slowly with control through your spine, your wrist is not feeling friendly, then definitely put your knees guys on the floor. We go for a couple more times, maybe more, if you're moving faster than me. Let's do one more, all the way straight at the very end. That's it. Coming up and come on back down to your downward facing dog. All right, guys, we will continue with the low lunges today. Let's reach our one leg up. Look underneath, create a lot of space, and go ahead and step forward for your lunge. That's perfect. What you want to do, you want to keep your front knee above the front ankle, shoulders down, heart up. Let's reach all the way. Inhalation. In an exhalation, simply gently with your muscular strength without the arms. Move that knee slightly outward, guys. Continue to move slightly outward to open it up. We're gonna practice today. Half lotus, full lotus at the end. If you would be ready for that, this is more advanced variation. Go ahead and take your hand on the floor and open up. Big opening, guys. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, bring those arms, guys, forward. 
nice and wide, far away. You can stay right up here. Or some of us will put the forehead on the blocks or on the floor even. Take your time, guys. And we're coming back to the center. We continue to stay on this side. We come back up. If you're using your blocks, guys, on the floor, you don't have to reach those arms above the ground. Open up outside of your body all the way. So your right leg forward, if you follow me, your right arm above your right knee. Keep opening, guys, in gentle rotation. That's it. And we slowly return it back. We're going to give our legs a little break and a transfer the weight toward the back hip. So we're going to lift the toes, activate. That can be challenging to fold forward towards the front leg, but do your best. Try not to bend your front knee. Again, your block's gonna be definitely your friends up here. And continue to fold forward inhalation. And exhalation, gentle, gentle, gentle release. Excellent. Come on back all the way up here. We're gonna go for the quick quadricep stretch. So catch with any hand and just lead forward. So what you want to do from this position, you want to lean a little bit deeper. We're working on the back leg, guys, right now. We want that muscle running from the groin area towards your knee to get nice and stretched. Give it a just a press or two. That's perfect. And let's slowly return back to our lunge. We're going to stay here just for a few extra breaths, just where you are. Reach all the way. Or come up, guys, with me a little bit deeper. We open up again and we take those hands into reverse prayer position, just like this. And we sneak our elbow inside. If that is too much, you definitely don't have, guys, to go as far. Keep on breathing. Holding the lunges. Good opener for the shoulders. And let's slowly return back. All right, guys, muscle up. One, two, or three steps. Meet me your way in your downward facing dog the way you can. You can always do it through the tabletop. Lengthening, guys. We're gonna go for the full transition, Ashtanga Vinyasa. If you're not doing that, knees, guys, on the floor. There's always a modification for others. Come on up through the tabletop. You don't have to go super crazy strong come on back exhalation restore and recover on most of our power yoga practices on fridays we normally rest and recover in the downward facing dog this is a great straightening position for entire body great strengthening one but if you have to go to your child pose on your kneeling position or even on your back please always do it until you will get stronger we breathe in we're ready for this flow from other side guys take your other leg all the way you reach first target right in between your hands step forward one two or three steps doesn't matter release your toes on the back Foot. Come on up, guys. We're going to find the good opening here first. Reach up. Obviously, if you're using the blocks on the floor and you have to have a support because your hips are not ready, you're just not bringing your arms up. So with just the hip strings, muscular strings, we take in this knee slightly out to make sure we extra opening the hips without the pressure in them. Breathe, guys, actively, all the way. Awesome, let's go ahead and take the hand on the ground and we take the gentle rotation toward that knee, toward that front leg. 
reaching up and open. Excellent. And coming back, guys, over the front, all the way. So, if you can put your forehead on the floor or on the block of it, that's amazing. But if not, just stay on your hands, use your blocks on the sides, whatever you have to do, continue to let your knee to melt out, melt away from the center. We're gonna give it a breath or two, an extra one. We start to connect with ourselves. Life is busy. Sometimes we encounter many times a lot of challenges, but it doesn't have to stop us from growing, transforming, getting stronger, getting smarter. Come on, back up, guys. We're gonna give the hip a little break. So go ahead and come back. And we will set the hip above the knee. We will gently lift our toes without bringing the knee inside and we fold in forward guys again that fold forward comes exactly from the hips guys all the way folding forward let your body appropriate right position where you feel that you're working you feel that it's challenging but it's challenging within a reason no pain no gain doesn't work in this practice so i want you to be aware shouldn't bring you a pain maybe a little discomfort which goes away with the breath but that's about it all right guys so we're going back for the quadricep stretch go ahead and catch up on your ankle your foot any way you can what you want to do you want to lean forward whether you hold with right or left hand doesn't matter you have to be able to lean into the quadricep in the muscle on your back leg. Quadricep works a lot through the day. We squat, we pick up the things, we walk, we drive the cars. That's a lot of work. So it's constantly working and in tangent. Keep on breathing. For the most people, they're one of the most tight muscles. All right. Of course, our back is not flexible many times, which is essential to improve the flexibility of the back for everyone, because the back health will determine our overall health. All right, guys, we're returning back to the lunge. Of course, if you do have your hands on your blocks and that's your only one way to hold the lunge right now, then just do it, guys, like this. You don't have to take your arms all the way up. We're gonna open up in that lunge one more time. Nice and open, beautiful. And from here, we will go ahead and take our hands into the reverse prayer position, just like we did. If it's not there, you can hold them simply behind the back. And if you have a little bit more range of motion today, we're going to sneak this elbow right outside very challenging very different requires a lot of shoulders flexibility but we're working on it this is our practice nobody is ideal we're just working on it all right guys come on back take it all the way back i know it was challenging we're gonna do it the best way through the tabletop if you have to all the way right up Take a deep breath in, extend through this leg, all the way through, and let's go ahead and do the push-up vinyasa. Now, you don't have to go as far if you're not ready. Totally fine. You reach. And on exhalation, we back down. All right. I have a strong flow, guys, for you in a runner lunge. If you would want to replace it with your low lunge, exactly what we did, please do that way. Take a deep breath in. Take a breath out. Step forward one, two, or three steps. We're coming back. So we're going to find 
the good balance first. I will ask you to close your eyes in your lunch today. Do it for a second, for a half of a second. See how you feel. And then, if it feels right, you catch it on the balance. Try to hold it a little bit longer. So, everybody extend those arms and let's close our eyes. Don't worry about your balance. Just imagine yourself in your room with your mind eye. Strong, stable, great foundation and connection with the earth. And most of all, strong and relaxed at the same time. How did you do, guys? Come on up and extend your front leg. I know we're going to fold forward. Here is your balance as well. All right, make sure that your back heel is still elevated and take your hips from the one side, if you feel it, sir, to the center. We fold in forward in a side extended stretch. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Take your time, guys. Inhalation, exhalation, excellent. And we're going to pivot our back foot on the floor so you will find yourself after you bend your knee in your warrior one. That's perfect. Reach up and we're taking it all the way to the warrior two. Look towards the front hand all the way. Remember we did our reverse prayer so we're going in our warrior two in our reverse prayer as well guys go ahead and connect your hands if it doesn't just keep the hands behind the back or just practice your warrior go ahead deeper down today and we slide this about the same way as we did on our lunges continue to open up and express through your heart Take your time, guys. And come on back up to the strong warrior one position. Warrior two, warrior one back. And we frame the front foot. Step back to your plank. And we're going to stay in a plank for right now. Until we're gonna go to the dolphin plank before we will begin this strong runner lunge to the warrior's flow. So go ahead and bring yourself on the ground. Your dolphin can be challenging, so your option, put your knees on the floor or and connect your hands up here. Take your time, guys. Go ahead and take your one hand on the side, which gonna help you to come to your strong dolphin plank on the side. My beginner stay trust up here, intermediate and advanced. We're going for the ankle bind. Try not to drop your hips. Take a deep breath. Tap the toe on the front to support your side plank. And let's go ahead and do it from the other side. Forgive my back, guys. All right, make sure your elbow, shoulder, Stack one on top another, just the plank. Support yourself with the toe, or we go ahead and bind with the ankle or foot. Reaching up, super strong, everybody. Very good. And let's go ahead, release it. We're taking ourselves back on the floor for the quick stretches of the arms. Then we return back to our downward facing dog and we repeat that flow which we did with our hand line behind in our lunges and warriors. Come on down one more time and one more time up guys. Reach. Breathe all the way. Come on back and frame your chest guys. Just frame it right up here. You've got this. Reaching all the way up. Tuck your toes. And back to your dumbbell facing dog. Both hands flat on the floor. 
Are we ready for the flow? Reach the leg up, all the way look underneath. Create a big, bold step right in between your hands. Fix it, push the foot for a couple extra pushes if you have to. Reaching all the way up. Super strong, guys. In that runner lunge. Very good. I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes again. Give it a try. It feels so good to find the balance and awareness. Let me give you a little tip. You have to be relaxed. Trust yourself, trust your body. Close your eyes. Make sure that you're breathing and see yourself in your mind eye. This is what the meditation is. You don't have to light up the candles. You don't have to be in a dark room, guys. Let's open up our eyes and slowly reach up the meditation. It's simply ability to slow down our mind and to observe from the distance. Let's go ahead with your hips on the side. Move them to the front. And I said it's simply to observe your own self. Your mind, your judgments, because this is only the outer layer of our consciousness. There is much more. Again, as a human beings, we have that ability to observe from the side, to set aside the judgment. Keep your front knee, guys, soft and extended. And sometimes it's very challenging because life is hectic and we use the things that we are not in control of our thoughts and judgments, of our emotions, but we are. The mind simply likes us to think that way. Let's go ahead and slowly move our foot and get ready for the warrior. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and reach up, guys, to your warrior one first. Then to your warrior two. Gaze over the front hand. As I said, mind like us to be in quotation to stay unconscious, not observe, not be connected with ourselves. So it can get into the control, full control of our life. Go ahead, because mind cannot be a bossy part of ourselves once we are aware of the being present, being here, being now, being alive, knowing who we are. Mind is great, so hands, guys, on the position of reverse prayer position. Go ahead and sneak that elbow. Mind is great, and it's great that it works perfectly all the time when resolving the problems and challenges, doing the mass, doing the reading, but there is so much more beyond. And then the relaxation and the state of meditation, as I said, it doesn't have to be a candles. Just the ability to slow down, we start to see the yield. Let's go ahead to open it up first. I know, I know. I'm going to go ahead and reach. Warrior one back. Square the hips. Frame your front foot. Step back to your plank, guys. Push down. Chaturanga, Dandasana, hold. Strong one. Stay with me, guys. Release your toes, lift up the hips. Come on up. Strong transition. Come on back. All the way downward facing dog. I know. Go ahead, guys, and take your one leg up. And put it all the way underneath your other leg. Good job. Go ahead and relax your head and neck. Give a deep breath in. And if it's available, if you feel strong today, reach your hand. So if your right leg up front and underneath, you're reaching that with your left hand, guys. Take your time. Inhalation. Exhalation. 
Malaysian retrawing bad guys. But we have to reach this leg up. We're gonna go for the pyramid pose and a quick balance session today. Step only three quarters of your four ears in the same position of the feet. So back foot, 35, 45 degrees in. You're going to rotate square your hips a little bit if it was out of the proper placement. And we fold forward first. Let's do it together. Look halfway through. Itself, taking the hands, guys. All day lower is our leg already challenging. Take your arms along your ears, and then you can definitely return back, guys. Return back or connect with your hands to your mudra. Maintain the square hips. We're going back for forward fold. If you are a beginner, just hold on for it. Hold your hands on the floor. Do what you can do, keep on trying, keep on practicing because we're getting stronger through the process of doing like everything else, one little step at a time. All right, guys, come on up. I think we did pretty good and let's go ahead and undo those arms. We're going to go and find our balance on this front leg. So I'm going to move a little bit on the center so I can see you better. Just pick up that leg which was at the back and we're holding it guys. We're holding, we're praising, very nice. We will begin this balance session with this simple tree pose. Now your tree pose guys doesn't have to be when your foot is inside the inner thigh. You can put it on your calf, on your jeans, or you can tap the floor. You can also use the props, use your walls, use your chairs, use your sofas, as long as you're doing something. Again, balance likes you to be relaxed. Tension in the forehead won't help. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. We are on our yoga mats, in our rooms. Not on a hundred story building, so no worries. So my beginners, you will continue to practice just like this, or we're gonna go for the gentle fold in for our half lotus. This is not for everyone. And again, little courtesy reminder, it comes from your external hip rotation. All right, guys. Go ahead and reach up. Take your time. And let's go ahead. If your foot is inside, fold forward, guys, with me. Or the gentle, gentle forward fold. Just a breath or two. And let's come back up. We practice in today or single leg tear pose. So just release it from the tree or the half lotus right on top of your knee. We are all gonna start with the hands up front. If that feels really good, we're working on shoulders today a lot, as you notice. We will take the arm opposite to your leg, put it behind and the hands bind at the back, guys. Squat a little bit deeper if you can. Big smile. If you felt that's okay, just start over again with your tear, guys. Stronger by doing. And let's go ahead and undo it. Shake it out. Hold your hands bind if you can. We're going for the gentle forward fold. That's it. Let your arms to relax, undo the bind when you have to. And if you're still holding it, let's go ahead and take your hands on the floor. 
All right, guys. Step, walk, or hop. Push down, chaturanga. Come on, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. We're going to take this flow from the very top, from the other side. Let's rest and recover. In the downward facing dog first. Go ahead and raise your other leg. Left for me. And step forward only three quarter of your warriors. So if you find your hips again at this side, move them to the front. We practice in fold forward first. Taking our time right here. Inhalation. On exhalation, just let your body again to mount down. No tension, no expectations. And many times we stuck on not healing the injuries, on not developing more strength, on flexibility, or any other areas of our life, relationships, love, abundance, prosperity, health, as I said, just because we condition ourselves that the change is not there for us. We must and we have to start to open up our minds, our bodies, our hearts for the change, even we do not see the current signs for it. Even it feels impossible, we're making an effort and we start to believe in it. The change is there, transformation is there, and that's exactly what it's going to start to happen. Arms guys so long those ears. I've got you all the way back. You don't have to go for your mind. You can continue to fold back down all the way. Belly down toward the front quadricep. This is a challenging balance already by itself. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and rise back up, guys. All right. We're going to make a transfer for this tree pose first for the knee hold actually and down to the tree. So let's slowly take our feet inside the inner thighs. You can set them guys on the calves. Try not to put your feet on your knees. It's a lot of pressure there already from walking and you don't have to push on the kneecaps so we just want to put it above or under okay let's find the balance first and if you will decide to go for your little half lotus we go there together if not continue to stay on your tree again it's external hip rotation hands up front or you can continue to hold your foot guys take your time my intermediate and advanced we're gonna go for the quick forward fold maybe maybe not today again through the hip flexor we got this back up we're getting ready guys for the chair so all you have to do is to slide up your ankle right above your knee and again if you need to touch the floor in between definitely do many times I fail my balance as well take your time we have to be calm present relaxed grateful for everything we have now you take your your top arm guys is the opposite to your leg on leg on the chair pose so if your right leg on top then your left arm going up behind 
continue to squat and open up, guys, through the ribcage. This is a challenging one. All right, a couple more extra press. And go ahead and undo the asana. We're gonna go ahead and fold forward if you can with your arm binds. If not, undo the hands right away. And let's slowly let go of the arms. Go ahead and take your both hands on the floor. And guys, sit a little bit wider through your malasana. We're going to crisscross our arms today. Doesn't matter which side we will switch that. So go ahead and just grab your ankles. Your option if you're not if your heels are not on the ground guys is to sit on your blocks sit on your blocks or pillows try not to stay on your tippy toes we fold in forward gently and then reach only one arm up doesn't matter which one mm -hmm. that's perfect go ahead and take your hand this hand slightly on top on the inner thigh and just move that away and we switch in the hand so this arm was underneath for me so i'm gonna put it on top close your eyes and fold forward again awareness in the body not anywhere else i pull my arm which was underneath and open up that's perfect and we're gonna put this arm just gently inside to open and come on down guys slowly on the floor with me as i said we practice in our half lotus full lotus or no lotus today so let's begin with one ankle up front and if that's already a lot for you guys just do it exactly like this you don't have to break your hips and your knees if that is easy position for you to sit you're going to take this front leg on top guys but again external hip rotation can be challenging this side for me is much tighter than the other let's take our hands on the knees up front of the heart whatever feels good Close your eyes for a few extra breaths. Mm -hmm. And then you can stay right here where you are. You can undo your lotus, definitely. Or you can come with me and take your hands up front for just an extra two, three breaths. And you will find your other ankle up front so we just all on one page and don't forget which one we did if that position is easy for you guys go ahead and put your ankle on top external hip rotation there is some work of knee there is some work of the ankle we stretch some both it should be fine but again if it brings a pain into your ankle you do not want to proceed with the full one just spend a few more weeks practicing your lotus when you are in the lotus your ankles shouldn't hurt maybe mild discomfort at the beginning but then it should go away eventually let's take our both hands up front let's connect with ourselves in this lotus feel your hands touching each other Feel the life and awareness permeating your body from the toes to the top of your head. Life is very simple. We just have to learn how to live it without bringing extra stress on ourselves artificially. Let's slowly undo the hands. 
guys and undo the fit very nice guys go ahead and put your legs all the way up front we will continue with that seated forward fold pull your glutes out we have a few more strong asanas left for this practice let's fold forward all together again my beginners you might be just up here still this is fine don't overdo it don't go for the hover so from the hip flexor we continue to fold take your time inhalation exhalation nice and gentle breathing guys taking our time and let's slowly return back up we will go ahead and put our post feet into our bound ankle guys right up here and stretch our shoulders just a little bit more today now shoulders are very sensitive i don't want you to overdo in some asanas we really push guys push until the discomfort zone with the shoulders it's totally opposite just go only as low as you feel good as you feel comfortable once the discomfort starts to come i suggest you you stop and just hold it right up there if you need to move up a little bit to get rid of that discomfort please do shoulders very sensitive if we hurt it and a lot of us know about the shoulders injuries and many of us had one through their life it's healing pretty long so we don't want to go there gentle stretches and strengthening always makes it better even for injuries but overdoing it can be harmful at the long run so we're looking for the balance continue to hang in there with your shoulders and let your knees guys to melt outside all the way melting outside as far as they want mm -hmm. and we slowly your way coming back up extend your legs we're going for a fish or matian drasana my beginners by the way you guys can bend your knees for your fish right up here and i will Start it with you so you can see it. Put your hands all the way underneath your glutes. Extend your legs. Lift your heart or keep your legs bent. And draw your elbows closer to each other. And lift your heart up, guys. All the way. Go ahead with a hard lift. Put your head on the floor. Good. easy way to bend your knees so we find ourselves in the big hips with a part arms on the floor you were great guys take your hips up take your time decompress your back and then we slowly gently release our hips on the floor Let's go ahead and draw our knees towards our belly and reach our feet all the way up towards the ceiling. We will practice the low boat to make sure that we took a good care of our abdomen. My beginners, one leg on the floor, intermediate and advanced, arms along the ears. Give me the couple more inhalations and exhalations here. And slowly, let's transfer that to Halasana or Plow Pose. We're gonna do this one one more time, guys. And 
and slowly return it back to your low boat low navasana one leg on the floor hands guys on the ground if you have to your back must be grounded mm -hmm. and let's slowly bring the knees back towards the chest very good close your eyes guys take your time we will go ahead and put the feet on the floor take arms on the side take your one leg underneath another and cover it guys cover it with the other side look opposite direction from that knee on top close your eyes and we back to connection with our body guys taking a strong deep inhalation and on exhalation let's switch the direction simply so go ahead and put your other foot underneath cover it you can bind with that but you can stay today with me look opposite direction from that knee perfect and nice and quiet inside inside that body inside that mind no turbulence hopefully and if the mind is running we're not trying to stop it we just accept that the mind is working its own work its own way and let's guys go ahead and extend the arms feet away from the hands keep your eyes closed or open just you just like you simply woke up after the good night of healthy nurturing sleep feels so good and let's slowly guys through the sides or straight forward make our way back to the sitting position and let's go ahead and close our eyes guys last one time while we bring in our hands up front of our heart bring your hands look inside look inside your heart your body your mind let's find the lord of love gratitude happiness patience forgiveness Feel your heart, feel every single cell in your body with that love. Radiate it through every single pore of your skin and share with others. Let's reach up all the way up, guys. Inhalation. On exhalation, guys, bring your hands one more time up front of your heart. And namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this very special time for me because the yoga practice we sharing the time we sharing the energy and even though we are so far away from each other i can feel it so thank you for that thing and if you new to the channel make sure to subscribe enable that little bell button so you never miss your daily workouts Everybody, leave me a comment below what was your favorite asana, what was the most challenging one. And of course, give me post that about your progress, about your progress. I really want to hear about it. So rest well, guys, recover well, and I will see you all tomorrow.